In yet another case of me being wrong about everything that Apple does, they have added complete windowing support into iPad OS 26. So in this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. Yes, we've got the Mac style traffic lights here where you can close, minimize, and maximize your window. We've also got tiling options, and we can also drag and change the size of the window and drag the window to different locations. Now, this is iPad OS 26 development beta, so I want you to be sure that you don't go and download this if you're in the middle of a big project. The public beta is out next month in July and the full version will come out in fall, which is around September. Let's jump in and show you what we can do here. So first and foremost, if we're using a mouse or a trackpad, we can go up to the top here and we can use these buttons here to close, minimize and maximize. So closing is tapping on the red and it goes away. If we want to minimize, we can tap on the yellow and it will stay open, but minimized into our taskbar. And finally, to maximize, we tap on, you guessed it, the green maximize button. Now, you'll notice there that we don't get the traffic lights until we go up to the top here. And then when you hover over them, they kind of zoom in. The other thing we've got now is these, which I've showed in other videos. You can find those linked down in the description. These are the new menu bars that we have here in uh, Logic Pro and LumaFusion and GarageBand and everything iPad OS 26. Yet another thing I thought we would never get here on an iPad. So you can also do tiling. So if you come up here and you tap and hold on this one, you can see all the different tiling options. So you can tile over to the left, to the right, top, down, full screen, left, very left and tiled mode. So if we just say tap on the left here, this brings this over there. If we swipe up from the bottom and open up say the files app now, we can now tap and hold on this one. And if we want this to be on the right side, we can do that and you can do things like when you have multiple apps, you can tile them all up into nice checkerboard patterns. You can overlap your windows as well. It's just like using a Mac or dare I say, Windows. Yes, 1995 has arrived and it's on iPad OS 26. So that's about all there is to this. The other thing I wanted to mention is if you're not using a trackpad or a mouse, you can still get access to these. You just have to tap and swipe down carefully from the top. It's not as easy to do without a mouse. So, and it's not really as useful if you don't have a mouse there, but you can still use your finger to drag around and to access these functions up the top here. There's a heap more that's been added to iPad OS 26. And if you'd like to find out all of the cool new things like this new mouse pointer, as well as all of the other options that we have available, check out my complete playlist down in the description and make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned because I'm going to keep showing you everything that's cool and new here in iPad OS 26. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.